So a lot of people keep asking me in my emails, DMs, things like that, you know, where it is that they would find a mobile home if they wanted to get into flipping mobile homes. Well, it just so happens I was out riding yesterday and figured out how to make you guys a video. And let's take a look at a few sources where you can find some really good deals when it comes to mobile homes. When it comes down to looking for mobile homes, mobile home parks are an excellent place to start. You wouldn't believe the amount of people who are moving in and out of that place all the time. Now, a lot of these homes are going to be park owned, but then you'll also have some places where they're owned by the actual person. Your goal here is to actually help the park out. Each one of those lots that they don't have filled is money that they're missing out on. Forming a relationship with parks with the goal of helping them fill their slots would definitely put you in a favorable position with the park. Now, you might not think about this, but mobile home movers are an excellent source of information too. If they don't have them, they usually know somebody who does have them. This is just footage of me riding around on the property of one guy who moves mobile homes for me on a regular. You can see he has quite a few of his own. If you know you're gonna be doing this on a regular, try to go ahead and negotiate yourself a flat rate while you're at it. That way you know exactly what you're gonna be dealing with when it comes down to putting together your terms of payment. Now some of these mobile homes might not look like much, but I can guarantee you the more you ride, the more you're gonna come across a wider variety of mobile homes in various states of repair. I've seen the good, the bad, and the non-viable. You might have never known this, but an excellent place to go look for used mobile homes is a mobile home dealership. Now, usually these places are full of a bunch of new homes, but oftentimes they'll actually have some trade-ins that they've taken in the back or out in the field and you can ask to see them. Whew, these are looking kind of rough, but I'm going to hop on out and see if there's any treasure in the trash. It wasn't too bad, so I went on ahead and got out. Gonna take a look inside there. See what we got going on. And here I am, taking a walk around inside of this mobile home. I gotta tell you, this one didn't look too bad right here. The floors actually felt pretty good in this one. Now, of course, most of the time when you walk into these mobile homes, it's not gonna be perfect. I mean, this is Reno, right? Try looking at it in terms of which I look at it. When I walk in the door, I think about flooring i think about how much paint is normally going to cost me i think about um building supplies miscellaneous things that i normally need maybe a couple of windows or something like that and i could probably turn this into you know an eighteen thousand dollar profit for myself makes sense now doesn't it now, i did manage to find one back there that was more my speed uh in terms of like you know low maintenance probably use just a clean out or something like that only thing was that it was a two bedroom, one bath. And those don't go as fast as the three bedrooms, two baths, eh, whatever. Like I said, you just never know what you find in the back of some of these places. Uh. And last but certainly not least, we have the internet. So one of the first places I like to go to is Facebook. And Facebook has a lot of stuff on its marketplace that you can use. Getting on here, you know, you used to type in um, mobile home for sale by owner, but you can't do that anymore. Now you have to type in um, home for sale by owner, right? That's a really good resource. Get in here and play around with like the price min to max right here. And then the cool thing about that is Facebook will pretty much learn uh, the things that you're actually asking it for. And it will try to put that into your feed whenever somebody uploads it. So, you know, keep that up and, you know, kind of train your social media to work for you. Also, don't forget to join a lot of buy, sell, and trade groups around your area too. That'll help broaden your search and give you far more access to the marketplace than you ever had before. Another good place would be, go on Craigslist right here and you can type in, let's say, and you can just put that in there. You just never know what it is that you're gonna find around you and, you know, Craigslist doesn't get as much of the traffic as it used to back in the day, uh, but you can still come across some gems and stuff on there. And there's a way that you can actually set this up to where it will automatically notify you. Uh, I'm not gonna get into that detail in this video right here. You can follow me back to the website if you wanna learn some more. Another resource would probably be MH Village right here. And so this is gonna be mostly full of people 
who are not what I would call uh, motivated sellers. They're more business minded like you and I are. I'm gonna type in something here. So you can see like the prices and stuff that comes up, you know, as far as like this area. But the cool thing about this is, is that you can kind of use it as a barometer to um, see what other people are getting for their mobile homes. And also you can use it to also search parks and stuff in your area as well. And also to go and build relationships at parks with, you know, those owners and managers. Now, of course, there's more than one way to skin a cat and there's always much more to learn. If you want to know more about this topic and flip mobile homes, then follow the link down in the description and get on the list. I'd love to send you some free stuff to help you out. So please smash that like button, subscribe. It helps out a lot. And also hit the notification bell so that you'll receive notifications about new videos that will help you out in the future. Peace.